Hello Internet and welcome back to another episode of Yup Plays Undertale. Very excited once again to be back playing this game. I wanted to very quickly, my hair is ridiculous, I wanted to very quickly address something that's been going on in the comments. No, I'm not going to talk for a long time. No, it's not going to make a difference, but I need to for my own sanity. If you are here from another playthrough, or you're an Undertale expert, uh, I just want to say that a lot of my friends told me not to play this game on YouTube because the fan base is so ridiculous about the canon of the story and the the way the characters' voices should be and stuff like that. If you came from another playthrough, like the Game Grumps or Jacksepticeye, and you think that I'm doing the voices wrong because I'm not doing it the way that they're doing it, for lack of a better word, that's really dumb. All this is is me experiencing the game for the first time by myself. I haven't watched anything else of it. I have never played it before. So you're basically telling me that the way the characters' voices sound in my head is wrong which is real silly. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, if you want to hear the Game Grumps do the voices or Jacksepticeye do the voices, I encourage you to go to their YouTube channel and watch them play it. If you want to see a guy experiencing the game for the first time the way he's experiencing it, then please stick around because I would love to be your friend and hang out with you. So, with all the talking out of the way, back to Undertale. The last thing that happened was uh, we got chased over here, right? Yeah, we got chased by Undyne all up in this place. What's down here? Hey yo, who is this guy? Whoa. Tra la la. I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat, slash on my boat. Would you care to join me? Yeah. Where will we go today? Oh cool, I can skip around. Uh where was uh Undyne's house at? Because I want to go back to it now that we've like uh been nice to her. Was it in Snowden or Waterfall? I want to say it was in Waterfall. Let's go. Then we're off. Go into Undyne's house. Yeah, I remember this spot. I was confused and now I'm not. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Please stay there. I'm going to hit you up for some services here in a second. All right. Okay. This is this guy's. I remember this guy's place. Where the heck was Undyne's house? Was it up here? This is the ghost house, right? Yeah. Undyne's house is over here. I remember now. Okay, Papyrus is here. Oh! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Yes, I will- Yes! As long as she doesn't just murder me. Okay! Stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this! She loves these! What is it? A bear? I can't believe this is actually going to work. She's not in her armor. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Great. You bet I am. And I brought a friend. <laughs> Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Whoa, he was excited. This is sketchy. Look at that sword. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! And he has it. Uh, thanks? Was it a dog bone? I'll, uh, put it with the others. She's got a whole drawer of them. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> he dove out a window, that's so Scott Pilgrim. Great movie, by the way. Ooh, look how annoyed she is. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, it's not. Why is she smiling? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you, yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house! Dang! What a shame! <laughs> I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. He's smart. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it! 
He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ha ha ha! What a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him! Listen up, human! We're not just gonna be friends! We're gonna be... BESTIES! <laughs> Great. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! Fa! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Oh, this is great. I'll have a seat. Sit down and progress? Wait, no. I want to know about the stuff. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? False. Pfft, you liar! I've read Alphys' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots? Your supernatural princesses? Heh! There's no way you're gonna fool me! Okay. I wanna know all this stuff. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. One time, Alphys' uh friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Oh my gosh, I love this game. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Awesome. This oven is some top-of-the-line empty tea thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. I wish I could have some. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so Alpha's picked up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! I love you. Oh, I'm in her butt. Let's go over here. I'll sit down. Sit down and progress? Yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink! Look, she's being so pleasant. Is it gonna be hot drink? She's going to every... <laughs> All set! What would you like? Uh... What the frick? Hey! Don't. Get. Up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! <laughs> oh, can you... I'm not gonna shoot her with that. T-Box, blatantly correct choice. What about the sword? Acquired taste. I want the sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Okay, can I point it to her? I want you. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> you can't, you can't get her. Okay, I will, I'll take the blatantly correct choice. T, huh? Coming right up. It, what? It's real quiet for the T. I like her fish wallpaper. She is a fish. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Look, she's like sweating. She's being so nice that she's like... Urgh. I'm not gonna move. I think the game wants me to move, but I'm not going to. Okay, it's all done! Here we are! Little cup of tea? The table is broken. Careful, it's hot. Should I? It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. I'll take a sip of the tea. It is also burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Yeah, it's, it's great. You're awesome. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. All right, girl. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. 
Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyways, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets trained dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you and he ended up being friends with you instead. That's just because I'm irresistible, girl. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. I can't tell if she's being fake nice anymore or real knife. Nice. Knife. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> Let's start with the sauce! Ah! <laughs> Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Strong! You punch the vegetables at full force! You knock over a tomato! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Yeah. Whoa! Dang! She's so strong! Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later! But for now! <laughs> we add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Press Z repeatedly to stir! Ugh. Stir harder! 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 Ugh, let me do it. I was... Whoa! Okay, I, I can't do that. She's broken the pot. Fuh, that's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step! Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hold right to turn up the heat! I'm gonna hold it down and I will hold nothing back! Hotter! Oh my god, we're gonna burn our house down! Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too- Please tell me I didn't burn our house down. She told me to hold nothing back. Uh... Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. I burned her freaking house down. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. We're getting along great, look around. We caught the house on fire with our love. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. And now we're fighting? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. I'm not going to fake attack. I'm going to spare. Spare. 
Show me what you've got! Undyne is letting... Oh, I, she's gonna make me do it. Come on already! Well, maybe... Maybe I can keep doing this. It's getting hot in here! This isn't gonna do anything, is it? Hopefully I'm not supposed to run like last time. I'll do a fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. I didn't hit her, did I? This is pacifist. No! I'm not supposed to hit her! What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Look, little smile. Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. Yes! That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Wee. She runs away. Can I go back in her house? Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> okay, let me save. That was freaking fun as heck. So can we go? Let me call. I want to call him. Papyrus and Undyne. Ring, ring. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. This isn't where I'm trying to go. That's to the trash land. Let me go to Papyrus's house right now. I just want to see what... I mean, I know I'm like backtracking, not making progress, but... Tra-la-la. -la. Care for a ride? I do want to ride in the boat. Snowden. Then we're off. What the heck? <laughs> There's a cat. This is the best boat. Tra-la-la. -la. Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh yeah, because we fought Temi, and apparently there's a secret path right over there to go to Temi Village. I gotta do that soon as well. Here it is. Hey guys! I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now! You two go together like pasta and burning! Hey, punk! What's up? A, a two! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have a stomach! No, but I have standards! <laughs> That's it? We can't do anything cool and fun? They're just there. Alright, so there's nothing else to do. I'm going to get some healing items and be on our way. Alright, also someone told me that there was a thing that I could have bought that has a cool passive effect that I should have bought that I didn't. But I can't remember where it was. But I'm gonna find it real quick. Hopefully. I didn't even catch this. I can use this armor and weapon and it will make me invincible longer even if I'm not gonna use them to fight. So when I get hit, I'm invincible longer. So I'm gonna buy both of these. Alright, that is awesome. Put these on me. Clouded glasses, use. And... Torn notebook, use. Alright, so now I'll go back to our boat, and we'll go to Hotland, and see what's going on. Go, cat boat, go! Meow! Alright. Hotland, what are you guys doing? Whoa! Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like... Us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Huh. Even if the elevators aren't working anyways, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Alright, so they're blocking the way to the elevators. Here's a lab. Whoa! 
Why do I have a spotlight? Uh... I'm on camera for sure. It's you? Just like the cameras have been watching me the whole game, remember there was a camera right when we left the vault. It's too dark to see near the walls. Oh, man. So we have to hit a light switch. Oh, crap. I didn't save. Who... are you? Is that hair or is his head an egg? Okay, I see. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I barely dressed. It's all messy and... I like him already. Um... Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Ascor's royal scientist. B but I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, uh... been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally gonna stop you. Oh, should he have a lisp? <laughs> I don't know, I don't wanna piss everybody off. I was originally gonna stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for him. So, uh, now I wanna help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. <laughs> a long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features? Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a third free human blood. Uh, uh, but, uh, hopefully we won't run into him. Great, dude. I love you, though. Here he comes. Did you hear something? Oh my gosh. Here this guy comes. I didn't even get to save my game. I'm gonna have to buy all that stuff again. Oh no! Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! I don't know... I don't know his voice. What does he look like? To today's quiz show! <laughs> this is the unstoppable killing machine? Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Yay, that's me. Can I dance? No. Never played before, gorgeous! No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly... OR YOU DIE! <laughs> Metaton attacks! Okay, what's the... What's the... What's the trick here? I can cry. No way, I'm not gonna cry. Spare him. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, mercy. Ah, uh, oh, you wish wrong. This is like impossible quiz, except it's hurting me. The quiz show continues. What happens if I cry? Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Oh crap! Someone told me this at some point. Uh, I thought it was this. Correct! What a terrific answer! Quiz show continues. Okay, let's uh, let's eat a bicycle. All right. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, not hopes and dreams. Even though that's the name of like something from this game. I'm gonna put metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. I don't know if it's gonna be like impossible quiz where the answers are like bullcrap and they don't matter. The quiz show continues. Spare. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains training entry me some things apart in station A and station B. Uh, there are two point. Oh god. Oh no! If both trains departed at 10 a.m. and it is now. Oh screw this! This one. Crap! Wrong! Oh my gosh, that's so crappy. Don't give me math problems. This is a video game. I don't want that. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? 
screw this game, dude. You can't- it says don't count them. I'm not gonna count one. I'm gonna go way over here. I'm not counting anything. I'm not counting- Completely utterly wrong! The quiz show continues. This is crappy. Give me a bicycle. Let's play a memory game! Oh, great. What monster is this? That's that frog. Frog it. Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? That's so stupid, dude. I'm gonna... Am I supposed to die here, or what's the deal? What's the deal with the doctor? Can I do something to the doctor? You eat the unicycle. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. <laughs> Great answer! I love it! Spare. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metatime? Sure. No, no, no! Can't you raid? I hate this right now. So crappy. Give me a, a Cinnabon. Even though that's a waste. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh! I know this one! It's a snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone, she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Asgore, I mean, pfft, Undyne. Oh, see Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her names in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. Wait, the doctor's a girl? I didn't even know this. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Please don't ever make me do this again. I didn't realize Alphys was a girl. Well, that was certainly something. You are cute, girl. That's last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. How did he do that? All right. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could... But where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. You're gonna give me a new phone upgrade. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> the fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Sure. You got the instant noodles. Heck yeah, thank you. It's beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. She has her own teacup? It's awesome. It's a computer. It's, ac it's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. I can't get up there. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Oh, I can see you in the bathroom, girl. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. I can't do anything about it. It's a bathroom sign. Well, thank you for letting me examine that. Oh, no, no, I'm not done in there. Go back. See, she's, she's not in the bathroom anymore. Alphys, where are you? Well, now she's gone. Let's go upstairs. Woohoo! Oh, this is awesome. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons, they're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. That's what uh, Undyne was talking about. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. 
You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate either. All these books are labeled human history. I want this one too. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. Alright. What are you doing? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Pink goop. I can't, I can't do anything about it. What, who is this person? Looks like Alpha's work table. Seems dusty. Is it Alphys's? I'm gonna say Alphys's. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. She's adorable. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Why? What is this? An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. I love it. It's a promo poster for Metatons TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. That's the same kind of wall wallpaper like uh, Undyne likes. Alright, well I guess can't do anything here. Let me call uh, Undyne. When did I get a d dimensional box? Hold on, now I have more inventory? Oh, cool! Now I have more inventory in my cell phone because of what, uh, what Alphys did. That's really cool. Let's call Papyrus. Ring, ring. You're at Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey! Tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait, no, don't ask any of that. Yeah, they like each other. Adorable. I'm gonna hook them up. I'm gonna matchmaker it. I know how. Whoa. Alpha's updated status on the social network she signed us up for. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human face. <laughs> is she gonna? I was just about to say, is she gonna do that a lot? Well, I know she's unbeatable, but I'll ask her about it later. Smiley face. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. She's about to call. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I got a battle. Vulcan. How are you doing? Look like you're asleep a little bit. Let's, uh... Someone told me not to be afraid to do the mean ones in this, because it doesn't really affect anything and some of them are necessary, so I'll criticize them. You tell Vulcan that its attacks are not helpful. Uh, not helping? Okay. Vulcan stands in the corner. I can't spare it yet, though. Uh, now let me hug it. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. Stop it, Vulcan. Oh, that was long. Vulcan cheeks grow with a bright heat. Oh, that's what she wanted to do. You won. Amazing. Here we go. What's up here? Alpha updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. <laughs> Whoa. This hurt my brain for a second. What's up here? I feel like we're gonna go fight the Elite Four right now. This is awesome. Save point! Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone! I don't want to do this, LMAO! You and me both. Oh, I can't go this way. Who is this now? Sunderplane! Not on purpose or anything. <laughs> what can I do? Flirt. I'll flirt. You tell Sunderplane that you like its taste in movies and books. Huh? You sicko! Great. It's bomb- oh crap, they all blow up. You gotta stay away from them. Sunderplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. What else can I do? I can approach it. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh? Human? Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Douche. Sunderplane looks over, then turns up its nose. So what am I supposed to do? I'll flirt with you now. You tell Sunderplane it has nice turbines. You sicko? Well, this is not the right thing. There's clearly something I'm supposed to do that I don't know what it is. Crap! Sunderplane gives you a condescending barrel roll. Do I just keep approaching? This doesn't work. Wait. Oh! Oh! They're green! I understand. It smells like an airport perfume counter. I got you. I got you. All you have to do is what the game says. Get close, but not too close. I just gotta read sometimes. Who? Oh! 
Sunder plane accidentally bumps you. Now it's in love with me. See ya. You won. Bye, girl. Alright. Such an awesome boss fight. Wow. Woohoo! This is so Pokemon Gym. Alpha updated status. OMG, I have had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Come on, girl. <laughs> There's Alpha. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Can I call her? I don't have her phone number. She never gave it to me. She just gave me a dimensional box. Which is awesome, anyways. Ring. Uh, hi! So, the blue lasers, um, I mean, Alpha's here? Hey! Uh, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, uh, you have to be moving, and they, uh, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye. So, <laughs> Alpha's updated status. OMG, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Sundine called me to ask about the weather. Alright, we gotta walk right through these. This one. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did you call? Okay. Check this out. Got it. Are you kidding me? I did it the right way, I swear. I didn't. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Hey, watch out. You're gonna get really hurt. I can't watch this. I'm disabling the lasers. There. There. Be careful, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, it's my fault you got hurt. I didn't explain the lasers well enough, and if I hadn't, if I hadn't uh, delayed using my hacking skills, I mean, sorry. Click. Well, all you have to do is get hurt on that part, and everything's fine. It's awesome. I'll eat your noodles, don't worry about it. Thanks, girl. What does this do? It's a switch, press it. Oh, great. I didn't need to do that. Alpha said beta status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. <laughs> she posted a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. <laughs> Ring. Uh, the, the alpha here. The, uh, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, uh, I think you should go to the right first. Okay. I don't know why she sounded retarded right there. That was my fault. Go. Hey guys, the way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. They're broadcasting this. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star on the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Alpha's update status. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. No, it would be very fun for me if you explained the puzzle. What is this? The door leading through this area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting, and my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Everything I say is a question. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. All right. I have two shots, I guess. Okay, so we have to be able to... The squares are moving to the beat right now. Here you go. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's fine. That was easy. What the heck? That's it? Wow! You solved it? I'm impressed? You must be a total nerd? <laughs> that was, like, extremely easy, guys. What the heck? Okay. We'll go this way now. Go, go, go! Yes! Hopping over lava and stuff. Ring! Uh, another laser, huh? I'm sorry. I won't play around this time. Hold on a second. Click. Thanks, girl. How are you guys doing? You are cool. He's got a skateboard. He's on it backwards for some reason. We were hanging out and suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. And then his schoolgirl flame person. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Okay. Oh, this one's harder. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the box to a play our match on. I got two shots again. Okay. So we need to move it so that there's only two things in the way. I think I can shoot... Well, no, there needs to be only one thing in the way, huh? Ah, oh, so close. 
Here you go. Here you go. Look at this. Woohoo! Nailed it. Bye bye. Congratulations. I did it, guys. See ya. Let's go. Freaking killed it. Puzzles and stuff. Uh oh. Hopefully, it's not another freaking game show where they just murder you. Alpha's updated status. Whatever. I'll just explain it. I'm already there. Uh, the kink, um, hey! About the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Click. Bye, girl. Love you. Mean it. Whoa! That was awesome. What's over here? Oh, it looked like I could go over there. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay, this is gonna be that robot again. Huh. Hey, it's kinda dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show! Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today! We're going to be making a cake! My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients! Everyone give them a big hand! Thanks, guys. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs! All three of those things are right on the counter. Go for it, sweetheart! Sugar. Milk. Eggs. Nailed it. Perfect! Great job, beautiful! We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake! Milk, sugar, eggs... Oh my! Wait a magnificent moment! How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient of all! Your blood. A human soul! Oh god, she's gonna freaking... Stop it, phone! A phone call right now, really? Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. But, well, wait a second! Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean, use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh... What if someone's... Vegan. Vegan. Actually, I happen to have an option right here! MTT brand always give me a human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Seems sketchy. But I will get it. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? This seems sketchy. I will do as I'm told. It's a trap. Uh... What... the heck? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna be a button masher? Oh no! There's not enough time to climb up! Hack it, girl. F fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says, Jetpack? Watch this! Awesome. There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there! Here we go. Oh, he's gonna throw stuff at me, of course. I can't go up and down, just only left and right. What is he dropping on me? Pizza pockets? No, I'm catching them in my mouth. That sounds delicious. Oh, frick! Whatever. Ow, don't slow me down, dude. Sucks. Ugh. I suck at this game, and every game. This is like bullet hell games. It's like we're playing R-Type. You just have to concentrate on where you want to go and not do anything else. I keep looking at the stuff that's trying to hurt me rather than- eh! Somehow, that missed me. Oh my gosh, look at this crap. <sighs> did I make it? I sure enough did. My, my! It seems you've bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles! That's it? That's the whole show? We're not gonna make the cake? Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Well, great. Wow, we, we did it. We, we really did it. 
Great job out here, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. All right, girl, let's go. And perfect timing. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. All right, guys, well, that's it for this episode of Undertale. Oh, it's so good. The best game. Uh, I really appreciate it if you guys are here with me through this and not talking crap and being a cool person. It, it just means a lot. So anyways, uh, please hit subscribe if you want to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five. Have, have, have a bye five. And as always, have a bye five. <laughs> have a bye five. And as always, Hello Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Yup Plays. Of Yup Plays. Yup, 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 Yup Plays. And as always, have a bye bye.